I think we have Namira. So on the Islam Q Q and A, uh, I read that um, uh, there was one answer which said that uh, the brown discharge is, is like a part of a uh, menses. So uh, because they said that a uh, woman's uh, blood uh, in the beginning it can it can be brown and then it can like turn red. And uh, so I wanted to know when you say that uh, your menses, uh, the start of your menses is when there's a flow of blood. So do you mean like red blood or like brownish dark colored blood? Again, we have mentioned this many times and it's found on YouTube if you go or to my uh, website. Brownish discharges may appear when a woman is pure before her menses, menses begins or it may appear at the end of her menses before seeing a sign of purity these two timings are different now the most authentic opinion is if a woman is pure for 10 15 20 days she's praying and fasting all of a sudden she feel cramps back pain and she's noticing brownish or dark or black discharges some scholars say this is part of her menses and she has to stop praying and fasting or having intimacy with her spouse However, what would happen if, and this happens a lot, after three or four days, it stops and she becomes pure. Only to find that after five days of purity, she gets her menses. Then they are put in a dilemma. What should we do, Sheikh? Should we repeat the prayers of the four days we stop praying? The answer is yes. It's your mistake. Because the second most authentic opinion, the second opinion of scholars, which is the most authentic, is such discharges, brownish discharges, are considered to be istihada. So you have to clean yourself, change whatever is soiled with such discharges, perform wudu after the adhan is called and pray. And it doesn't impact your prayer even if it comes out while praying. So this is the most authentic opinion. However, at the end of your menses, the blood is continuous. Then it fades away, fades away, fades away. And then we see the brown discharge. Have you seen your pur purity? No. So the scholars say this is part of your menses. Why? Because women at the time of Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, they used to send her their uh, uh, pads to differentiate and to distinguish the color. These pads contained sufra or kudra. So the yellowish or brownish discharge, she used to deny them purity. And she, says, she used to say to them, don't hasten until you see the white thread like discharge, which means that this is considered to be part of the menses. And the hadith of Umm Atiyah, may Allah be pleased with her, she says, after seeing the purity, if a woman had her menses, then she, she saw her purity, she took ghusl, now she's pure. She says, we used to disregard whatever yellowish or brownish discharge we find afterwards. Which brings us to case number one. This is not your menses. This is part of istihada, disregarded. It. it does not... Uh, uh, impact your major impurity, you can still pray and fast. So I hope this answers your question. Awesome.